This is the most spooky stuff I have ever bought in my life. I think, I think I'm growing up. I think so. and welcome back to my channel so today i have a little spooky haul for you guys so if you guys are interested then just keep on watching but before we begin let me remind you that subscribing is a hundred percent free so please click that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post i post every single week and since fall and christmas time are my favorite times of year i have been posting multiple times a week so trust me you don't want to miss out Alrighty, without further ado let's get started the first three items are from walmart and they're actually i actually got these from california from our california trip um if you haven't seen that video I will link that down below, but um, our first stop was Walmart to get some water and I saw these and I have to have them. These are Mickey ears and I got three of them, three. This one is just an orange sequin one, it says boo and it has a little bow and then a little spider web. And then the next one is a little candy corn one and then the final one is this one right here. Um, and again, these were all from Walmart, so they're not as good a quality as my, like, Walt Disney World ears. Um, they are quite uh, a bit more flimsy, you know, but these were only five bucks, so I got three of them for, like, half the price of one of those. Let me try this one on for you. That's, the <laughs> that's a little tilted. You know what? Let me just try on all of them, because why not? So this is the candy corn one. This one right here. <laughs> that is so cute. They're all a little lopsided, I don't know. This is the little boo one. This is the most uh, subtle, I think, out of all of them. So those were all from Walmart. Now let's move on to Target. This is right next to me. The first item is from the dollar spot. And this was three bucks. This is like a little pumpkin. It's glittery all around here, which I of course love. And this front part is a chalkboard. This would be great for maybe like a tiered tray, maybe a coffee station. And then one other item, this I think is actually from the dollar spot as well. This is, it, yeah, it was $1. This is like one of those little potion bottles. It says Night Owl Elixir, 100% organic, see in the dark. And it's just an empty bottle, a little cork bottle. Moving on, I got some things from like Home Goods, TJ Maxx. Uh, the first item uh, are is this little thing full of uh, pumpkins, but it actually says on here decorative skulls. So I don't, I don't know if this was like an accident. I don't know, but these are just full of black matte pumpkins. And they're foam pumpkins. I can tell because this one's stem has broken off. And I didn't notice that until I was like right bef like right as I was about to check out. And I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna have to put this back. And then I thought I would just go ahead and ask uh, the lady if they had any more because I mean, I didn't see any. This was literally the last one, but she was like, well, if it's not out there, then that's all we have. She was nice enough to give me $2 off of it. It was originally $9.99, but I got it for eight bucks. I think there's like eight pumpkins in here. So it's like a dollar a pumpkin. I think I found the stem finally, <laughs> like as I was preparing to um, film this video, I think I saw the stem in here. So I'll just have to glue it back in there. Since right after Ju July 4th weekend, I had been going to Home Goods, TJ Maxx and Marshalls like religiously every single weekend to try and find this mickey pumpkin cookie jar and i have yet to find that but um that is why i picked up so many things <laughs> this year because i keep finding things that i like one day i went and they didn't have the pumpkin jar uh or the cookie jar that i was looking for but they did have these little guys okay and the cookie jar that I'm talking about is basically exactly this, but bigger. So you can put cookies in there. These are just like a little, you put like a little tea light in here and they light up. And these are ceramic. They just had these like at this little end cap in the store. And they had a bunch of them. They had like eight. And so 
I got not one, not two, but three of these little guys. I had to control myself. I didn't want to get all of them. I didn't want to be like one of those people that just like buys everything out so that no one else can get anything. You know, like I just I had to control myself. Uh, believe me, I wanted to buy all of them, but anyways, these were $6.99 each. Thought these would be cute, like maybe on a mantle or something. I mean, I was obsessively going every single weekend and this this kind of helped me because each time I just get so sad when I wouldn't when I couldn't find the um, big Mickey Mouse pumpkin cookie jar so yeah I keep finding it online though there's so many people that are reselling it so I saw these and I was alone I wasn't with my husband uh, so I didn't want to put these down but I couldn't leave the store because the carts were outside of the store and so I didn't want you know, the security system to go crazy. So I had to be resourceful and use this thing as a tray. I had picked it up also because I really liked what it looked like. Um, it's this little wooden sign. It was $7.99 and it says, There is magic in the night when pumpkins glow by moonlight. And I just love all the colors. The colors just go perfectly with all the colors that I'm decorating with. And I literally use this as a tray to hold all of my Mickeys. I was literally in line like this because it was all I had at my disposal. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but again, I'm going to do a decorate with me Halloween version. So keep your eyes peeled for that. So I did already get a bunch of candles this year, like too many candles this year. Literally had to hold myself back from buying any more candles. I'm like, I'm literally cutting myself off until Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, anyways, but for, for the fall time, no more candles. But I did get another candle holder. <laughs> I feel like I would use this more for Thanksgiving, but this is a little pumpkin. Candle holder, oh my gosh. Literally just put the candle right on top. Look at that. This is also a fall candle. This is a pumpkin cupcake, how perfect. I just love how round this looks. <laughs> and it's kind of like a uh, velvety texture, just like a little bit of gold detail. It's like very simple, but still so cute looking. I did finally go into a spirit Halloween and boy, oh boy. I mean, I had to control myself. I'm very, very proud of myself because normally I would just go crazy and just be like, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, but I, I controlled myself, you guys. I think, I think I'm growing up. I think so. So I did get a headpiece. I've been wanting a snake headpiece like this for this specific makeup look and I was trying to figure out ways to make it and everything and then I walked into Spirit Halloween and I saw this and it was only $7.99 and it was way cheaper than me having to make it. <laughs> so I went ahead and got this, you guys. It is the Evil Queen. This little uh, set of self-adhesive press-on nail chips is what they call it, nail chips. It's so cool. The shape of the nails though kind of worry me. That's why I only got one though because they did have one for Maleficent and one for Ursula as well. And I of course wanted all of them, but uh, the shape of it, I don't know, it just looked... Because usually like nails, like press-on nails, they're a little bit more rounded so that they, you know, will fit this part of your nail. But these are literally like boxy, like squared. So I don't know how that's going to work out. So I will let you guys know, of course, on Instagram. I always post my nails. <laughs> Every time I do my nails, I post it on my Instagram again. Follow me there if you're not following me. I just still think they're so cool. I, I pretty much collect fake nails, so this will be a great addition to my collection. All we have left are my new mugs. This is the first one. It's the Evil Queen. The inside is pretty cool. It has like these yellow um, poison apples in there, if you can see. And this was $5.99. This has the Evil Queen like that very young beautiful and then her as the old hag so that's the first mug evil queen yes okay so the next one oh i don't know if i should which one i should show you okay let me show you the spirit halloween one because it's related to the evil queen so this one is was like right at checkout uh, when i was about to check out for uh, spirit halloween 
I'm telling you, that's how they get you right at the checkout line. They put all these goodies. And I saw this and I literally gasped. Like I gasped so loud. I was like, <gasps> my husband was like, what, what, what happened? And I was just like, I need that. And he was like, oh my gosh, need what? I needed this. This. <laughs> it is the poison apple, but it's kind of like an oil slick version. How cool. This guy was pretty expensive though. This was $14.99. And on the inside, right here, if you can see, it says one bad apple. I love it. I've been wanting the like traditional poison apple mug forever. I, I don't know why I love the poison apple. It looks so cool. I actually made one last year. If you want to check that out, I do have uh, a tutorial on how I made my own poison apple. It was very cool. Very, very easy to do. This is the last and final item and the last mug. This one I got from Home Goods, I believe. My husband found me this. He like literally walked up to me like, you know, like a, you know, like those heroes at the end of a movie and he's just like, and I was like, oh, my hero, I love it. And I was so excited. It says happy Halloween, right? And then you have Mickey Mouse in his little vampire getup. And then there's like this little stir stick right here. This one has like a little chip on the ear, if you can see. So that's kind of a bummer, but um, still. I mean, this was the only one left, the last one. It's a little Mickey Mouse jack-o'-lantern stir stick. And it has like a little hole here, so you can just place them right there. Let me see, this was $7.99. Let me give you guys a little close-up. There's Mickey. Donald. And Goofy. And then the little stir stick. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I forgot forgot one last item this is the last item and this guy actually this little trio is from home goods so i'm not a gnome person i don't know i never really understood the whole gnome craze but i saw this and i kind of understand it now <laughs> look how cute and i just loved like the color of it and the buffalo plaid and everything and you get three of them for 19.99 and this guy has like a little bat. <laughs> um, the middle guy is holding a jack-o'-lantern. And this one, I think it's supposed to be a broom, but it looks straight up like a mop. And this was the only one there. Again, so I saw that as a sign, you know. And the bottoms are like heavy. They put like rice or something at the bottom so they sit up. I don't know, they just look so cozy. This like sweater material that they're made out of. And thankfully I stashed it when I did because this lady that was like hovering like hovering like they, there's a personal bubble i guess we stopped the whole six feet distance but she was literally like aiming to go grab these and i was just like i had already like gone for it and thankfully i had like showed up like a second before she did Alrighty, guys so that is it for my little spooky haul i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye